Okay, so a little bit of change of scenery in the background for today's video because we are actually talking about Ultimate Custom Night, specifically the ports that are coming out, not gonna lie, probably pretty soon. On January 14th, yes, I'm very late to this, like unbelievably late, I'm sorry, Click Team actually released on their official YouTube page a work in progress test build for Custom Night running on the Nintendo Switch, and oh boy, does it look interesting. Ever since it was announced that Custom Night would be getting ported over to consoles and mobile phones, we were all super, super interested to see what the controls were going to be, how it was going to work on these ports. And this video gives us everything we need to know about exactly how Custom Night will work when it's ported from the PC. Now I actually forget everything in the video because like I said it was released nearly actually for you guys over a week ago um, and I literally haven't watched it since it came out. So we're going to re-watch it and then like usual dive deep into the video and uncover the secrets within. We're just gonna look at the controls really. <laughs> That's it. So without further ado, Ultimate Custom Night Nintendo Switch gameplay footage. Now I want to make this very clear, I'm not actually playing. I'm not, I'm, I, I got, I'm not actually going to be playing on my Switch in today's video. Like I said, Click Team released a video that we are going to watch. Whip UCN test footage 01-14-2020. Let's make sure our volume's up and let's take a look at this sucker. Test footage, ultimate custom line. Here we go. So we're going to watch it through the entirety. Okay. Watch it through the entirety, and then we'll take a look at it um, thoroughly. So it's a minute and 20, so not that long, but already off the bat, we can see some interesting mechanics. Oh boy. Look, we got the power-ups right there. What, what do we got next? I'll set all to zero. Everyone's at zero already, so no point in even doing that. Look at all those challenges that we can do. Yeah. Oh, Bears Tech 1. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, they're actually going to be playing it. And then here's the controls. We're going to get to these a lot later, because... Oh boy, it's gonna take a long time to go through all that. All right, so look at this. Uh, don't mind this up here, boys. Don't mind that up there. I'm pretty sure that's just like frames per second or something. Actually, no, it can't be. What the frick is that? I'm I'm a hundred percent sure that's not gonna be gonna be in the full release. But um, yeah, there's that. Oh wait a second, that was not in the original game. Ooh, I I don't think that was in the original one. What? Well, Wait, I wasn't ready for that. What is left? left? I don't think. When you turn the heat on, did the does the screen do that? I don't think it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow them. All right, so now we can actually take a proper look at this. I think one of the main things that people were interested by is just how the hell they were going to do this. They were going to replicate a cursor on consoles. And they're gonna they're gonna do it like this. They're gonna add in their own freaking cursor. All right, so they've got the cursor right, and that's how you move around. I'm guessing with the um, oh, I did this last time when we had um, I think it was FNAF six switch footage. I got up my my Joy Cons. Let me put them in the controller so it looks better. My my Smash Bros controller. Anyway, so I'm guessing you just move around with the joystick here. I'm I'm guessing that's how simple it is. Um, and then A and B right here. That's how you, A is how you increase their difficulty, B is how you decrease. I realize you guys probably can't see this that well. I don't know why I'm bringing it up here, but it helps just in case you guys can see. Um, hold Y to use, um, uh, to erase data. Y is right here, right near A and B. I don't think, and I think someone said this in the comments, it should not be that easy to erase data. Because if you beat 5020, you are not going to want to delete all that data, right? If you beat all those challenges, you do not want to erase your data. So... I think they should change that, I really do. Yep, there you go. So, you just hover over the character you want to increase or decrease. Um, I'm guessing A, you just use to select. Pretty simple, that's usually what it is for most games. You see all the officers there, power-ups, again. A, you click on them, that's what I'm guessing anyways. Uh, probably t hit A for set all, set, set all, yep. Go here, hit A, yep, you can see that. One of the things I don't like about Custom Night, and this isn't for the ports, but it's just for Custom Night in general, is that when you make a challenge, you can't actually see how much the challenges give you for points. But yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. 
I think we should save this till the end. I think, my god, we, we're gonna save that to the end of the video, because that's gonna take way too long before we can go over. Ugh. Man, the, the, the controls are something. Oof, wait, I dropped my controller. <laughs> So here's the office. I don't know what this is. Someone, can, someone, please tell me what this is. I thought it was frames, uh, frames per second originally, but then I really thought about it. I'm like, no. And then they started messing around with the cameras. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a click team thing. I'm guessing because every time they change scenes, I, I don't know if that's what they're called. When they went to the cameras, every time they changed the camera, it changed. So I'm guessing that's just like the thing you're seeing on screen. I don't freaking know. I don't use click team. So I clicked him. <laughs> okay, so we're in the office and everything looks crystal clean. Everything looks so smooth. Which is, I'm honestly surprised they pulled this off. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you can see the wine music, the change music. Yeah, look at this. This is gonna be, oh my god, dealing with toy foot is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Because imagine how precise your movements have to be with the joystick. Unbelievable. Salt ventilation, yep, heater. I don't, I swear I didn't do this in the original game. Then again, I do, I do have like Ultimate Custom Night PTSD, so maybe I, my mind just like threw that out the window. Power AC, oh, you can hear Nightmare. Um, yep, we get out of the monitor there. You can see Phantom Freddy starting to make his appearance. Turn on the flashlight. Turn on the, there you go. And then, I like how they, they make a note. That nightmare's there. What is this running at? 480? Ugh, yikes. <laughs> Quick team. Jump scares look super freaking clean. I know I'm playing this for the, like the fourth time, but just take a look at this. Awesome. Clean. What is left you? Very creepy. Very, very creepy. Alright, uh, yeah, and then go follow. Of course, I'm gonna link their Twitter down in the description along with this video. So I think now it's about time we tackle. The controls. I shouldn't be blocking any, I should be right over Fun Time, or not Fun Time Freddy, but um, Rockstar Freddy. So now I'm actually gonna put these on the actual console so you guys can see it. Okay, so first things first, the thing that everyone is screaming about is the fact that the Joy-Cons on this model are not the same as the Joy-Cons on the actual Switch. Honestly, it's not that big of a fucking deal, like, I'm pretty sure you can still understand what it means. I just like how everyone's getting so pissed off at Click Team for that. It's not a big deal. You you know what these are, they tell you what they are, they tell you this is the D-pad. Like, stop, freak stop freaking out. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, anyways, me venting out of the way. Let's see, so left button. I'm pretty sure they're talking about this right here, which is the left button, right? Left? Yeah, left. So this one, this top button right here, opens the monitor. Um, and then the one on the opposite side, the right button, this one, it opens the uh, opens the mask. Actually, frick, opens the mask, what the heck? <laughs> I've, I, wow, a mask button, nice. So yeah, use that to open and close the mask. Or not open and close, but you know what I mean, take on and off. Um, something that really annoys me about that though is that it's the opposite in game, so uh, you go in here, right? The... Well, maybe it's not- they switched it! Click him, what are you doing? <laughs> what? They switched it! On the PC, the monitor's over here and the mask is over here. Why would they switch it? Well, thank God there's a button for it now, because, God, cause you, could, can you imagine you using the mask over here? Because I cannot. Oh my god, okay, let's go back to the controls. Sorry about that. I didn't realize they switched it in the game as well. I thought they just switched the buttons, and that's what made me mad. But now I'm even more mad because they switched it in-game too. It's not that big of a deal, but like, why would you switch it? So you hit this button, I guess, to turn them off. I guess you hit down on the joystick to turn everything off. And then, let's see, so now on the D-pad, Right here, so I can't see. So the top one is to close the vent, then the left one is to close the left door, right, right door, and then down is the side vent. I guess that makes sense. That's that's not that bad. And then on the other side, on these, X button is to catch a fish, close the ad, and wind the music box. Interesting, interesting. I guess that's good so you don't have to use your cursor um, when you're actually in the camera. Okay, so A is the flashlight, B is to cancel, Cancel what? I guess just close out of the game, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. And then Y is to change the music box um, when dealing with Chica. Use cursor and the A button right here. 
uh, we'll use the right trigger, so the right trigger is this thing right here, not the bumper, but the trigger, um, and select with the left analog stick, so this one. Um, and then the left trigger, which is this thing right here, again the trigger, not the bumper, and up or down on the D-pad, interesting, to select these. So I'm guessing you hold this down and you select them. Interesting choice, I'm not gonna lie. I do like how we got our two boys here, Rockstar Freddy and Mr. Hippo represent! Awesome. And I'm pretty sure that's basically it. Um, yeah, again, go follow them. I know I keep saying it, but you should. So I think that is pretty much everything we have to deal with in today's video. Interesting. I think if there's one word to describe custom night ports, it's interesting. And now all we can do is wait. Very recently, actually, they released uh, FNAF 4 remastered for iOS and Android, so if you have not gotten that, I suggest getting it. It's pretty good. Very good. It's now exactly like the PC version. But yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more news coming soon in the future. I actually have my whole whiteboard here is filled with stuff that I just have not covered yet, so I'm gonna get to that very soon. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.